everybody. And welcome back for another episode of Journey to the Farlands here. Episode, at least as I'm writing it, two, or I typing it, I guess, 210. So, uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, I guess first I wanted to, I mean, world size, 1.7 gigabytes. You gotta add another odd 50, 60 gigabytes. I don't know, it's wherever it was at episode 199 before the world got deleted. But, um... Yeah, we're about 1.7 gigabytes at least since uh, yeah, since episode 199. I don't remember where we were exactly at around that point, but anywho, I had something I wanted to like discuss, and that was of course the looming issue. Well, you can see that I've disabled Optifine and its far distance patch uh, temporarily, just to showcase <laughs> the jitters. Um, this is what the game looks like without any safeguard. See the cows just kind of, just uh, kind of there. I think I named an episode. Oh, I don't even really remember. I swear it had to do with the cows. Something to do with them. Stuttering around or I don't know. It was something like that. But um, yeah, I think that was the last time I had the jitters on before this. But this is um, option A. <laughs> And then uh, option B is graphics shredder, as I call it, which is basically Optifine tearing up the terrain a little bit. It's not quite as bad as the Optifine bug without the fix, but the chunks kind of just ghost out as you, maybe some people, the keen viewer has seen in, um, well, over the last few episodes since the new season, because I haven't played without Optifine. I've only been playing with Optifine and it's long distance patch, of course. Um, and all, there's also some textural issues and some other minor little things I've noticed, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm racking my brain trying to figure out which one I really want to go with because the jitters, well, they are a little bit dramatic, as you can see. They kind of changed the way the game looks quite heavily. I, I, uh, even though it looks like I'm kind of zipping around, I, I move it at the same pace. It just happens to be with a lot less character animation <laughs> and bobbing. Oh, this because there's a little bit of bobbing with the sword there. But um, yeah, back for another episode. It's been a little bit, <laughs> even since the last commentary episode. Again, it's it's been a long week. All right, it's still Saturday, yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's been it's been certainly quite the week. I haven't really yeah, streamed very much throughout the week. I just did the odd journey stream, of course, as I usually do. Pretty much that's like the only thing I do. And <laughs> if I don't do that, then I'm clearly very busy or very sick. And I, I, I am sick. I did mention that over the last few episodes as well. That I've been coming down with some sort of cold or uh, something or other. And it, last night it was awful after work. Of course, I was tired from a long day of work, so I guess that didn't help. And I mean work as in like both school and regular work, like a you know a good few hour shift. Um, so it was it was pretty taxing on me. And uh, last night it was going to bed. It was certainly odd. Although I did stay up watching some some YouTubes or whatever, just like I do. But yeah, I felt very sick. And I, today I felt a little bit sick, and now I seem to have... I'm still kind of back at the flat, the plateau of the illness, which it's kind of been the all week. or been, It's kind of been in this... I've been in this spot all week, where it's kind of... It's not really... It's more acute, you know, the symptoms and stuff. So it's not like the last time I had the cold, where it was like... Wicked. I digress anyway. I'm sure you don't want to hear too much about my sickness. <laughs> I seem to make every episode about it that I'm sick. You know, I, <laughs> I'm i like, I'm sick, and then I proceed to spend an hour talking about said illness. <laughs> I'm sure no one wants to hear about that. So I'll um, switch topics to something a bit more, you know, worthwhile. Um, but, um, yeah in a bit i i don't remember the last commentary actually it, i think it was a few days ago might have been more 
I swear, I have a feeling it was like 205, episode 205. That's what my, what my brain's telling me, but I don't know if that's true. Photobomb. Oh, it was 206. Seven. Oh, I don't know why I went to seven, two, oh, eight. Shot. Oh right. Oh shoot. I didn't record the coordinates at the end of last episode. Ah, that's mm, okay. Maybe I'll do take a quick break and do that. <laughs> I was very tired and I forgot. I'm, I'm tired now and I quite seem to have forgotten that I didn't record the coordinates at the end of last episode. So I'll just record them now. So five minutes leads into this episode but that's all right i don't feel like going back five minutes just to get the coordinates <laughs> and just for the sake of the episode i'm just writing them down briefly uh, just so i have something to write down in my coordinate book and also in the video description so it'll be a bit off by about five minutes of walking which is all right i took about a lot of breaks last episode Anyway, that no commentary episode. But that was last night. That was the night I was talking about <laughs> the aforementioned night. But um, but yeah, I don't know about these jitters. I'll show off uh, the other thing with Optifine in a minute. I want to at least get somewhere now that I've opened the game. <laughs> but yeah, I'll kind of compare both of the the kind of the two evils. If you will, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll certainly will uh, showcase both and maybe come to a bit of a consensus. I do already have a bit of a plan as to how to combat these weird bugs, and I think I know really the best solution, which is finding the jitter fix again. Which I do, I believe I know where it is. It's just about having the strength to go and find it because it's in a very cluttered Discord server. Or at least not very cluttered, but it's in a Discord server that has a lot has happened in probably that uh, said chat over, since the last, you know, like a year ago. So I got to scroll through a year's worth of chatting just to find my uh, messages in that Discord server. So it might, it might be a little bit. I, I couldn't find any trace of it online. And most mod packs have it included, but you can't really remove the mod from the mod pack. I don't really feel like playing with a mod pack. I mean, I have one right now, but this one's pretty minimal, as you'll come to notice. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure things out. Because, I don't know, I could continue with just the jitters, just normal, being normal. You know, this is actually, you know, how the game would, I mean, you know, functions. But it is a little bit... You can tell with like going through the water, it's a little bit weird. But I, I don't think it alters your movement. No, see, it's like the exact same. So, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, it's not really a very common problem to run into. It's really only a problem that a Farlander like myself would encounter. Someone, you know, <laughs> someone walking out to these, these you know, these this far away you know four million blocks away from spawn kind of deal and it's only bound to get worse only only by like one more increment at eight million so <laughs> well it gets worse after that of course exponentially but i won't i won't really see the next jitter quotient or point or whatever whatever you want to call it yeah this is the jitters i've mentioned for so long that were basically removed since episode three of the series because I found jitter fix around episode three and we're on episode 200 and I think it's 209 or no, 210 that's right I was confused I was mainly confused when I was looking at the channels like wait why why is the channel last at like episode 208 and I'm like oh 209 was was uh last night's episode and I, I was just so tired I couldn't even bother writing the coordinates down or even uploading the video so technically this one might they might get uploaded at the same time uh, well, that's fine. That's all right. Nothing really happened. It's a no commentary episode anyway. 
I guess you do miss my little anecdote at the end, but I was really just talking about basically what I've what I've already mentioned today. But I don't know which one's more annoying because this one at least I can traverse the terrain normally because with the Optifine the ghost chunk bug thing that I encountered with only the long distance patch for some reason. It uh you know, there's like ghost chunks you can still walk over it but i kind of have this like fear that i'll walk into a cave or you know have like the first one of the first deaths in this world which was falling into a lava fall in the cave and yeah, i just fear something like that happening because i can't see any blocks in the chunk or any like entities or anything like this uh, so i'm just I don't know. I feel like the, in that sense, the jitters are better, but also the jitters are very, uh, how should I say this? Polarizing, jarring, I guess is a good, a good, a uh, good way to put it. A little bit of both. I, I don't know if I really could say I missed the jitters because they weren't nearly as bad when I, you know, got the mod put in, but, um, to make a short explanation of what exactly it is you're witnessing on screen here, if you don't know what I mean by jitters, it's uh, something called floating point precision error, which basically just has to do with the math for like, the actual player location, like in game. It's um, like, I guess being rounded off, like shave, shaven off basically. And it, and to my knowledge, it seems to only be an appearance bug that just changes the way that you, you see the game. Like it can kind of change the way the game is played because all these like, it's not, I guess it's not just the player because it's everything relative to the player. Like, you know, this black box around a block, like look at that, that is not normal. <laughs> but this is uh, what people commonly associate with like the Far Lands is like all this, um, all these bugs and things and the game breaking down. That's you know that's the one of the big things at least I kind of associated with the Farlands and I'm sure many others also associate with the Farlands is that inherent bugginess, which I mean I count this as a bug, and another bug is without the long distance patch, which I, I could show that off too. That makes the game even worse or even worse. Uh, I guess I could do that right now actually. Maybe I'll do that. I'll show the three stages. <laughs> So the, yeah, that was um, the kind of mid ground, and then we'll go with the buggiest one. I think I don't know if this will work actually, but there is a separate one for a patched version of Optifine. So I'm gonna just try and run it with normal Optifine. See if I can get it to work. Oh, I might back up the world first. <laughs> Last time I tried running Optifine, it really bugged out on me. And. Uh, yeah, it screwed. It was all doing all sorts of stuff. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, I gotta love the live, live mod testing. Okay, I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna save the world to my desktop or around or whatever. It's not that big right now. I can just throw it around like it's nothing. Okay, Journey to the Far Lands backup, so I'll just make a folder. <laughs> if I don't have one, I should probably start backing it up. Never know when something like this is going to happen. Or, like, like, you know, the hard drive getting erased. But it wasn't a big deal, so I could just go back. Okay, well, I copied the world in. So I'll go back, see if I can. It'll recognize, okay. Oh yeah, Optifine is is in. The, this is the unpatched Optifine. Oh yeah, I guess it could have said epilepsy warning, but yeah, it is, uh, this one's also pretty messy. This is Optifine unpatched. And um, yeah, it's, it's quite the sight. Okay. Whew. I wonder if I, I don't remember what it is, or is it just, I guess it's just sta staring still at stuff, or like standing still. And, yeah, it's only, I think it's only when you start moving, but it's so unpredictable. 
I see that everything is gone and then everything's there and gone. And is that hexagonal stuff? <laughs> hexagonal stuff. And yeah, so that's a mess. So that's kind of the worst it gets. That's when you throw an Optifine on top of the jitters. And then what I'm what I've been used to for the last few episodes, and then I'll, I'll walk until I encounter the bug. It's not like a constant thing like the jitters or the Optifine graphic shredder, or whatever. I, I could also call this graphic shredder, but it's more of a pun, a play on the Optifine bug that I mentioned just now. More of a play on that. That it doesn't actually shred the graphics, it's just invisible terrain. Mm. And this other one is just like that, except for entire chunks. And they do load after a while. It does take like a few minutes, but it does load. So it's not, I guess, the end of the world, but I don't know. Optifine also glitches these, um, like at least the past version, glitches out cacti, torches, basically any like 3D um, kind of uh, blocks. It kind of glitches out. Not not necessarily beds, I don't think. No, it might. I'm not too sure. I haven't paid too close attention. But I think it's like those like 3D textures. I'm sure like signs, doors, they might be affected. I don't know why it's not responding. I'll just close it. It's going to be annoying. Okay. Then I'll uh, show the other end of things, which is what I've been playing for the last few episodes. Okay. This one's the smoothest from appearance. Um, I think both the jitters and this are better than the Optifine bug. I think it's like physically impossible to play the game like with any sense of normality in that case, or like even any um, uh, dexterity or I don't know, like any like, level of skill. <laughs> Basically, doing anything in the game becomes a whole lot more of a task. I don't even know if it's possible to play the game at this point, but um. I'm not going to worry too much about it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on moving. Wait, I'll wait, see if the game will boot, boot up. It takes a bit. I don't know why, but specifically, like, whatever instance during the Farlands is in, I don't know if it's like all the betas that any beta instances I have, because I haven't played. I mean, I don't have any other ones, but, like, of course, on the old hard drive, I did. But uh, anyway, I think the game is booted back up. I'll just restart the game. I'll just test things out. But this one's the most normal looking. I think it changes that water texture Optifine. I think I can probably change that, but I'm not too bothered with it. Um, but I'll walk for a bit with this. This is, of course, looks like the normal game. Nothing crazy. Um, but I want to show off exactly what I mean by ghost chunks because I'm sure people are thinking what what is, what is this <laughs> what does ghost chunks even mean uh, I'll walk for a bit and it becomes pretty apparent every you know odd few minutes of walking you actually encounter this bug it's pretty common which is also why I'm a bit hesitant about even keeping Optifine enabled It seems some of that uh, craziness of op op the unpatched Optifine sneaks its way through to delete or temporarily like disable the visibility of chunks, essentially. And I've I've kind of played along with it a little bit every once in a while, where I'd go into the chunk and chop down a tree or something, and it's like invisible, and I'm collecting the blocks. Oh, I got my axe. Thinking about chopping down trees. I guess I could do that. All right, also, one thing I noticed with Optifine, one of the little things, is that like the breaking of the blocks, you can see it flashing. And it's also because I'm moving. But even if you're standing still, like you don't see the, the animation for breaking blocks. So that's also a little bit of a weird discovery I've made with Optifine. Just little stuff like that. And really, like, it's not that big of a deal if you were, like, playing regular beta with Optifine. Like, this is not an issue for you. Because I think this is probably only an apparent issue if you're only, like, you know, millions of blocks out like I am. 
that's why like I I don't know because <laughs> I don't like the ghost chunks but I also don't know if I fully am on board with the jitters coming back it's purely a preference thing of course you could very well do a journey to the far lands with the jitters and people do people have and I just it uh, sure it's faith you know I guess quote unquote faithful sure it's like a, a, you know a thing that was just a fact of life with this beta version you know the floating point precision air but I kind of considered it like a lot of the other uh, a lot of the other bugs like you know the game crashing or stuff like that that just kind of inhibits the game to some capacity at least that one does visually oh yeah there it is right there see this is another visual bug and it's much like the jitters it's also completely you can completely walk through the ghost chunks but i i don't know i don't really like it yeah you can see what i mean i can like walk I can interact with these chunks. I can place blocks to my heart's content. And then um, I don't even know how long it takes for them to load back. If it's like random or what. Yeah, it's like this chunk, this chunk, this chunk, this chunk. It's a whole bunch of them. You can see. Oh, and then, yeah, there it go. There's my weird monument I, I built. I don't know. But, I don't know. I'm going to put the jitters back on, at least temporarily. That'll be like my, my backup tire, I guess you could call it. It's not quite the complete solution, but it's a solution. Um, I know people are probably like, you. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, well, I think the jitters are at least the most tolerable out of the three. I mean, not that I'd even consider playing with unpatched Optifine. I mean, Aunt Venom said it best and that you'd have to be literally blind <laughs> to not notice what was going on around you at that point. <laughs> right, you know, to have not noticed anything. I mean, I mean, there, I mean, especially, but like even, I think Aunt Venom made that comment when the player was like not even that far out because it, Unlike the jitters, the Optifine bug is a little bit more unpredictable. I think it, well, I guess it kind of works exponentially, it's kind of similarly, but in different ways. Uh, I don't know why my game keeps crashing. I don't know. Like, whenever I'm trying to get out of it. Maybe I'm just being too impatient. <laughs> Leaf color normalizer. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's probably for one of the alpha thing. Alpha style. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And I removed raw fixes because I want to play the game in as vanilla a state as possible. So I guess the jitters <laughs> does fulfill that. <laughs> but I think I want to at least get it fixed before I go to the Farlands. Ideally soon. Because, <laughs> you know, the Farlands are still an odd 8 million blocks away. So, you know, we got a good, a good ways to go yet. But yeah, I'll go back to the game. We'll just do the rest of the episode with the jitters. Oh no, not the jitters. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't affect it. Like you, you can, st I can still take screenshots and all that. It just makes some things a bit harder. <sighs> right. Should be the last re restart of the episode. I've done a lot of them. I know. I just I do it just to showcase stuff. Okay, we're we're back. Ah, uh, the good old jitters. <laughs> back from their hundred ep over hundred episode hiatus. <laughs> Unexpectedly, albeit, but yeah. Anyway, I'll go. I'll start talking about something else now. So um. Yeah. Oh, I do have actually something I, I want to talk about first before I get to some other stuff. There is a um, a new series I have in the works. I know. Shocker. Another new series. I've been doing them like every month at this point. But I do have a new series, and it is a collaboration series with Devin. It's not old craft. <laughs> uh, it is... I, I won't get too deep into it, although I'm sure people here might, might not know what it's going to be, but... I'm just 
I'll just briefly run down at least some of the vague details. It'll kind of be a series going on through at least throughout October for sure. Uh, whether it goes on beyond October is um, up for debate for Devin and I. That's with Devin, best friend of mine. Um, d yeah, we're going to play a game, a different game other than Minecraft, and we're going to do a series on it throughout the month of October, which is t coming up to, you know, tomorrow, but me and Devin still have it. one more game we wanted to play tomorrow for our game night. So it'll probably, I mean, it may, might be tomorrow, might be, we'll see. But um, yeah, it'll be sometime probably next week or, you know, around that time. It'll, it'll run through October at least. And yeah, depending on how it performs and how much we're enjoying it, it might continue, you know, until we finish the game. But yeah, that'll be a, a new series. I guess I gotta just see what game it is because I've been I've actually mentioned it on the channel before, and it's um it's a game that's not actually got multiplayer built into it. We're just gonna use a mod, it's Subnautica, um, and I've mentioned it I, I mentioned it a long time ago. I think winter break, so like over half a year ago. Almost, almost even an entire year ago, entirely. I mean, that's pretty, pretty far of a jump. It's more like nine months, but um, that was certainly a while ago. It was back in like winter break, and I was like, I want to do this series on Subnautica, and I never got around to it because I did hardcore adventures in Minecraft through time, and then the rest is history with my other Minecraft series. Is that followed suit of course but i definitely want to get back into subnautica and do a proper playthrough that'll be a bit novel even for me i haven't done a complete 100 percent playthrough of the game entirely so that well, that might the prospect at least the prospect of it is fun so expect that in the coming days and maybe a week depends but, <laughs> but yeah me and Devin hope to film that at least like one twice maybe even twice a week at least once a week we want to film it in make larger chunks so there'll be longer episodes but um more progress will be made and I don't really know if I'll edit them I don't really have the time to edit things in all fairness most of the time I mean I I guess I have the time in the day to really allocate to it but I don't know, I don't really have much of a reason to, at least right now. Stardew, I'm not going to edit, so I guess this series I could edit, theoretically. We'll see. I'll think about it and hmm and ha about it for a good while. Ah, <sighs> but yes, but yes, that is a new series I'm looking forward to filming. And I'm sure you guys will find, I'm sure there'll be a good bat bunch of you who enjoy that series. I'm Devin, you know, Devin getting scared by, you know, the, the game. No, I, I'm not even going to mention Leviathans. Because Devin, I think Devin, like, knows what to expect a little bit, but Devin's still a bit spooked by the game. Apparently he didn't even go out to find the other rescue life pods. And only really went out to, like, the first, like, few and didn't really go beyond that. So I'm going to definitely be, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a lot more, I, I don't know, I, I go into things with a lot, not really all that much fear. I'm not a very fearful person, so I'm probably going to be dragging him through a lot of pretty tense, scary situations in that game, so which I'm sure that'll make for, for hilarious episodes. But yeah, that's definitely something I'm doing. And then um, I've also discussed Kerbal. I mean, that was like a few months ago, but I do definitely want to get around to that, maybe around the Steam winter sale, maybe in December or November. I do want to make that into like a weekly series. I, I know I still have Stardew. I might, oh, I'm, I'm hoping to film that tomorrow. I don't know about tomorrow morning. I guess I could do it actually tomorrow morning and then work on my code. Yeah, that, that might actually work pretty well. Yeah, I'll allocate some time tomorrow morning to do a Stardew episode, so I won't be streaming for too long tonight. Or at least terribly long. 
at least another half hour, maybe an hour. I'm not too sure. Maybe I want to round it out a little bit. Hmm. But, yeah, I'll figure out something. Oh, hello, zombies. Oh, and spider. Oh, it's a little bit weird with the, the jitters. <laughs> Okay, let me break out some wood. But yeah, those are some series I've had on the go for a while. And, um, you know, I, I did do Mango Pack and you know, all these Minecraft series other than Java. And I basically decided that, of course, since that um, Mango Pack and my own solo beta world have been basically deleted along with Journey to the Far Lands, at least the original world, that's why it's season two. I won't get into that too much. There's an episode for it, episode 200. I kind of explain the situation a bit better. So if you're like, what is going on with the journey? Why is there two seasons? Why does it seem like it's the same world? And all these questions, most of them will be answered there. And if you have any other questions, of course, comment, comment to the course. But um, yeah, but yeah. I, I will have decided that I won't be doing any more Minecraft series, at least for quite a while. Uh, any new ones. I definitely want to do like a solo project eventually, but I'm not going to rush into it like I did before. I'm going to just come across an idea and uh, just enjoy it for what it is. And that might include not streaming it, or at least streaming it like once a week or once every two weeks or even monthly which might even be the best at least like you know every few weeks bi-weekly i'm not too sure but i definitely know i want to do like a solo minecraft project beyond journey to the farlands because well my main reasoning is that journey to the farlands is walking it's a very you know it's relaxing but it's not exactly what you come to a minecraft series with the intent intentions of you know watching someone actually play the game this is i mean it's me playing minecraft but i'm just walking and you know there'll be an odd 500 episodes of this or you know <laughs> or something like that and um i want to really delve into the game even if it's just like beta or something just kind of explore the game a bit more beyond just what i do in like java and stuff i want to play it more frequently because I don't give Java nearly as much playtime as I probably could. And maybe that's just my mindset approaching the SMP itself. I might just have to kind of uh, accept that I should just play it like a single player world. Well, kind of the big deal, or the big dealio with Java right now is just that it's a pretty quiet SMP, I mean. Oh, uh, the same old story I've meant, I've talked about, you know, Journey to the Far Lands. I've talked about so many times. I mean, Journey to the Far Lands started with Newcraft 3 being around, and then, you know, it's how many SMPs there I have hosted since then. And, yeah, I am just, I mean, I'm going to be playing Java because I know I want to do end busting. And I know I want to uh, do the shop with Brody and uh, do some uh, do some co have some cool plans going on, which I have discussed in my latest Java episode. But uh, I definitely want to start acting on that kind of stuff soon. I'm not gonna you know make empty promises like I did about previous SMPs. I, I want to really try and get into this SMP, and I think taking a break from like major solo minecraft playthroughs is a good idea like you know i'm i'm not meant talking about journey of the far lands of course because that's not what i mean by traditional minecraft experiences that's more things like hardcore adventures or stuff like that like anything like that mango pack but yeah i'll have it on the back burner and when i have the time i'll make a world and i'll just play the hell out of it <laughs> And stream it every once in a while, you know, progress update style. Kind of like how I think well, who is it, Mog Swamp? He does a uh, super flat survival, and he stream or plays and streams that every once in a while. But he doesn't stream every second of the world, which is kind of what I want to do. And I don't, I don't, well, I won't be doing like fancy editing or 
I mean, I could I could do editing, considering it'll be releasing once every few weeks. So I might edit episodes for that. But I'm not going to be doing like time lapses or anything like that. Um, and if I do ever to consider doing that kind of stuff, it'll be a long time from now when I actually have the time to really put effort into editing. But I don't know if I really feel like going that direction. I more or less intend for this to just, I mean, uh, intend for this to just be as it always was, just kind of a project of like the whole channel itself being, or I guess streaming itself as like a hobby and really nothing more than that. I'm not really going into this looking for fame or money or viewership or anything like that. I'm more or less just here and you guys can just click on the video and watch or not. And I'm just going to kind of continue nonetheless by my own kind of whims and whatnot. And really the re main reason why I bother streaming most stuff is mainly for archival purposes or just to, uh, for a bit of fun every once in a while, just to have the, you know, the idea and that other people can watch what I do if they so desire, even if it's not the most um, polished nor, you know, crisp, that it could pro probably be. It uh, it's still, you know, me putting my hard work into stuff, nonetheless. Even if I'm not really willing to edit most of the stuff I do, or you know, have high production value for absolutely everything. I certainly do try to be entertaining, though. I mention that a lot, but I really do. I really do want to try to at least maintain some level of interestingness. And so I hope I'm doing, I'm, I've succeeded in that throughout the past year of my uploading on the channel, on this channel. <laughs> and I guess streaming on this Twitch channel. <laughs> I could mention both the YouTubes and the Twitch. Wow, I might have to take some medication. Oh my, it's getting hard to speak. It just hurts. I don't know. That's a new, that's a new one. <laughs> I think my, my throat must be inflamed or something because it, it feels like burning a little bit. Just just doesn't like me. I might have to take some cold medicine. So maybe I'll, I'll end the episode. Well, I guess I got 20 minutes. So maybe I'll go take a quick break and have some medicine and then come back. Maybe I'll, I'll just literally just leave and come back. Like it'd be like a minute, not even a few. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Because I want to wrap up the episode anyway. I don't know how much longer I'll stream. If my voice gets better the, with the medicine, then I might do an extra hour or half hour or something. Uh, I don't know. Because I want to try and wake up a bit early tomorrow so I can do Stardew and all that stuff before work. <clears throat> but yes, but yes. Oh, what else did I want to talk about? Well, I talked about Java, where it's kind of quiet. And I think really the big reason is the same reason as before. Lack of interest and most people being pretty busy in their lives. I mean, me included. I've been pretty busy. And I'm sure, you know, I could spend the time in walking to the far lands doing other stuff like Java or a new, another series, but... I just, I don't know, I can't let go of Journey of the Farlands. It's not something that I, I don't take it lightly. And I, I really, I mean, it's just down to how much I enjoy felt like just even streaming this. Even if I'm just doing a no commentary, I just feel the drive to keep going. And just to, you know, in hopes of one day reaching the Farlands and having all this be worth it, you know? But... Yeah, I'm not going to be sacrificing t like time spent walking to the Far Lands to play on Java because I don't see much of a point in doing anything like that. And so I'm just going to... I try. I mean, I try to play Java when I want to, but I feel like it's it's getting a bit more difficult with... Well, why is my... Why is it... Okay, I think... I don't know why. I, I, the jittering was like... It seemed worse, but I think it's just the same as it's been. I was just paying more attention to it. I 
I've just been drinking a lot of water. Ugh. Oh, the water's not helping. <laughs> Maybe I need like tea. No, I, it's, it's like it's midnight. I'm not gonna have tea. <laughs> I'll have some cough medicine, even if I'm not really gonna need it for that long. I won't be talking for that much longer. I time I talk to Devin. Hmm. Well, I might go take it after this day here. It's kind of a, I, I know, I wouldn't bother talking about being sick, <laughs> but yeah, I, so man, I guess talking about things really going on, Java, I'm going to be playing out, not necessarily streaming a lot, I, I definitely want to try and stream interesting moments and like big jumps, what I want to capture, even if I'm not going to edit them. I did have plans to edit Java, but I kind of just got overwhelmed by editing a little bit. I just didn't really feel all that motivated, nor did I really feel the, you know, like I needed to edit Java. I mean, I'm sure it'd be nice for you guys to watch it and maybe even myself in the future to kind of check up on things and see like what happened in Java. But I don't know. I just don't, I, I don't really have the drive to do it, and that's really the biggest thing that motivates me, is my own will of doing things, and that's just not in the cards. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, well, I'm going to go take some cough medicine. Um, so I'll be right back, hopefully with a bit of, feeling a bit better, slightly, even. Um, but yeah, I'll just turn off my mic for a minute. Oh, that is putrid stuff. <laughs> but I'm I'm back. I feel slightly better. Got a bad taste in my mouth, but my throat's starting to feel a bit better. And instantly. It seems to be pretty effective. But yeah. 
<sighs> you know, I you know it does feel better talking. I don't have that inflammation. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said it worked quickly. But, um, yeah, well, I don't know what I was talking about, Minecraft stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I guess Java will continue. Every once in a while, I'm not really going to have much of a schedule for it. Just because I kind of film it on a whim. When stuff happens. So I probably won't be filming that super excessively. Journey is basically daily. I've tried doing it on like the work when I'm working during the week. It it's a bit difficult to film episodes because a in the morning I'm tired and b in the after work at like around 11:30 midnight I'm like pretty practically dead and don't really feel like doing any journey to the far land. So it's a little it's a bit of a conundrum. Because I'm not exactly a morning person, I'm more of a night person. I like to get my stuff done during the night. And it doesn't really work well in weeknights when you're trying to get stuff done. And then in the morning, you want to... I want to do Journey of the Farlands or whatever before work. And yeah, it just it doesn't work. So I'm I'm going to... Yeah, we'll see what I can do. I used to, you know, like a few weeks ago, I'd play my beta world in the morning. Uh, and I did start to play Java in the mornings. But I find that it's such a little block of time that it doesn't really work the way I want it to. Because usually when I play Java, I want to play it for long stretches of time. Inherently with a Minecraft world slash server. It's kind of kind of the you know the idea. <laughs> you kinda of get lost in the game when you play it for a while. You just wanna keep playing. But yeah, I'm not gonna worry about playing it in the morning so journey i might try just for like weekdays and stuff but yeah yeah and then monday i got a bunch of time freed up so hopefully i can spend tomorrow ironing out the game the project for school and then uh hopefully get that near finished tomorrow that's the plan and then monday i'll just tidy it up and be ready for tuesday yeah, Monday I'm off school, so I'm going to spend Monday probably I mean, rounding off this little project, hopefully finishing it. It's been a bit been dreadful. I'm hoping hoping to just do a bulk of the work tomorrow. But yeah, I wanna make do a longer journey of the Farlands episode or some Java if I can drag Devin and Brody on or something. Or Devin or Brody, I'm not too sure. Um, but we shall see what happens for the rest of the weekend. I really do want to do a longer Journey of the Farlands episode, just even no commentary. Because of course I probably won't be doing a commentary for a good bit after this again. Just because not much really happens that warrants me making a commentary, unless, it, unless people comment or stuff like that. Usually I like to make commentary videos answering questions and whatnot. But, yeah, but yeah. Oh, boy. I, I had a good talking point that I wanted to talk about, but I think I already mentioned it with Java. Uh, let me see if I can think of anything else to talk about. Like, big, big discussions, anyway. Other than, like, little tidbits here and there. Uh, just thinking. Because I've kind of already mentioned most of what I plan to do for the foreseeable future. Which is week or daily during the Farlands episodes and weekly Stardew. I, I want to, oh yeah, I didn't mention Stardew. I'll do Stardew weekly. Maybe bi-weekly if I feel like it. I'm going to try and get back into it tomorrow. Like I mentioned, tomorrow morning is the plan. And I can just spend tomorrow night ironing out some code. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll be good. I think that, I think tomorrow will be good. And then uh, I'll do a shorter Journey of the Farlands episode again tomorrow, I think. And then Mondays, is, I'm aiming to make longer. Maybe six hours? Well, I got until 5 30 and if i wake up early enough i might be able to do an eight hour stream if i want to just dedicate the whole day to journey 
I might be able to do an eight hour. But do I want to, though, is the question. Oh, my, my music's loud in my headphones. Uh, but anywho, anywho, anyhow, anywhere. I could sit, I continue. Rain or shine, sick or healthy. <laughs> but hmm. I really thought I had uh, some more stuff I wanted to say, but no, that's okay. I can just can just hang out. <laughs> And then I guess after the episode, I'll see if Devin wants to chat, see if I can muster any conversation out of him before I go to bed for the, or, you know, sign off for the night. Completely. Oh, up in the clouds. <laughs> Got my head in the clouds. Ah, oh, boy. Boy, boy. Oh, these jitters. Oh, I might, I might be able to get used to them. But also, like, I feel like if I, you know, I don't know, because I, I might be able to just, the water thing, and, I mean, if I don't get the jitter fix back, then imagine having to build like this, and <laughs> all that. So I'm hoping to get the mod back. I might try and search for it either tomorrow or Monday. We'll see what, what <laughs> you know, where I get tomorrow. I'm really... I think today was kind of the procrastination day. I definitely could have spent today doing a, an actual stream or actually doing something with my time. I more or less just kind of putzed around for the most part. And then I, I had to do, I had to drive, I had to do some driving around to do some stuff. So yeah, I, I do that for a, a good chunk of the evening. And so I finally, I've gotten around to filming. You know, my, the last thing I do in the day, <laughs> well, one of the last, I guess, because I do other stuff after Journey of the Far Lands, but that's all, like, mobile games or, like, watching TV or whatever. So it's not nothing worth mentioning. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but I guess I've been thinking about Kerbal. A bit more since I've been watching Tinfoil Chef. I feel uh, I feel like I definitely pick things up when I listen. All right, kind of listen. I, I'm more just to listen when I'm doing Jerry the Farlands. I listen to stuff. You know, I like to say that I watch videos while doing Jerry the Farlands, but I really just <laughs> listen to them. But I, at least for like the Journey series is like you know TFC's Journey to the Farlands. I don't have to worry about what what's going on. I mean, I might look at every, it's like, ooh, cool landmark. But um, for the most part, I can just do whatever and just, you know, do, do this and just listen. It's kind of like a podcast, more or less, which is neat. But, yeah, I've been watching TFC again recently for my no commentary episodes. And it's been, it's been nice. He's talked a lot about Kerbal Space Program and, like, the episodes I'm at right now. And it's really get me wanting to play the game. So maybe in a good month or two, I might start a, a series on it. Or, you know, two months or I don't, I don't know how, how long I'll, before I'll do it. Basically the next Steam sale and then whenever I have the time to allot for it. I want to try it for this Stardew. It'll be a while. Ugh. I'm starting to yawn. You know what that means. <laughs> but yeah, I'm... I'm I definitely do want to get around to doing something like Kerbal, something different, you know. Maybe learn learn that game a little bit. I know it's pretty heavy on the physics, and that um, since that's like a a pretty big interest of mine, I, I want to definitely at least try to understand it. I'm not, you know, I don't know a whole lot about rockets, nor do I know a whole lot about aerodynamics at least yet. Um, so it's. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, you know, they say it's not rocket science, but I guess this will be at least close to it. Not quite exactly rocket science, because actual rocket science is a little bit crazier, but you definitely do get a bit of that strategy, and I'd, I'd assume, you know, designing the rockets in the Kerbal. 
I know there is a second game, but I might. I think I'll just start with the first one, just because that one's like the big, you know, critically acclaimed game. And I, know, I think the second one's also probably pretty good. But um, I figured I'd start with the basics anyway, in case it is a bit more complex or something. But yeah, but uh, I definitely will explore that game when uh, I get around to it, around to buying it, and around to being willing to actually play it. And then yeah, Stardew tomorrow, and for you know, however however long it really takes to beat Stardew, or at least you know, feel complete with it. And I think that's probably about as a good point as any to probably start wrapping up the episode because I've got much else to say. I haven't, I don't think I've done like an episode where I've gone from commentary to no commentary. It's been that long since I've done an episode like that. I think that was the summer when I last did an episode like that. So yeah, I'm ending another commentary episode with a, with a complete through commentary. So bravo, you've made it to the end of an episode for once instead of me just being like, I'm going to go and then come back in like three hours. <laughs> I I won't do it in the sand. That's a bad idea. I tried doing it in an. Uh, oh my god! Don't even get me started on how bad that bed was. Digging that hidey hole. It was um. A few episodes ago, I don't even know how long ago it was. Now it could have even been ten or more. I don't remember. But I was digging a hidey hole in like a snow biome. It was like an ice kind of, you know, ice over a bunch of uh, sand. And I was going to dig out a hidey hole and it's I took I spent like five minutes trying to dig it because I was digging like a staircase down through the sand and then it was yeah it was so weird and then it ended up being like this weird hide, hidey hole that was like exposed to the surface by ice because it was all sand underneath of course because it was like an ocean but yeah that's just one of my funny little anecdotes because that, that, that was um yeah, that was one of the episodes recently, and I remember that being certainly quite the pain. Oh, oh, look at that lovely, lovely torch. Oh my. Ah, the jitters, eh? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know if I'd say this is the greater of two evils, but um, uh, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you guys, I guess. But, um, yeah, well, without any further talking, because I've been yawning, and I'm sick, and I'm tired, and... <laughs> And I want to talk to Devin, and I got things to do. <laughs> I, I'm very seem to be very busy, and also I seem to have had enough of things. So, yeah, that is gonna wrap it up though for this episode. Without any further jibber jabbering, I um, will bid you all farewell. Thank I do appreciate. Oh my God! Oh God! Okay, but uh, yeah. Um, thank you guys though so much for tuning in. And I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Yes, indeed. I shall see you later. <laughs>